We back with another video, back to react, and we got making my new breakfast burrito is worth the hangover. Now this is a video from Sam the Cooking Guy, and I'm sure this is like one of those remedies for when you'd have one of those long nights of drinking. You know what I'm saying? Something to soak up all that alcohol. We're gonna jump right into it though. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Let's get it. On the heels of the ridiculously delicious Mr. Miyagi dog, I bring you my newest creation that raises money for No Kid Hungry, the Worth the Hangover Breakfast Burrito. And it's so crazy because I don't even drink like that. You know what I'm saying? But me and breakfast burritos got a thing. Like, it's a thing between us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to get too deep into it, but my baby. So the Mr. Miyagi dog I created for Doghouse, and a dollar from each one goes to No Kid Hungry, a great organization that, as you can imagine, helps kids in need. So this got an air they quote have a corner. sister restaurant called Bad uh, Air Quote Counter. Damn, that's like a tongue twister. Air Quote Counter. <laughs> he had three already. It's burritos online only, and they came and they said, hey, Mr. Miyagi was so good, want to do something for badass burritos, and we came up with what I've called... Can you do a few more uh, air quotes to your I don't think we got enough of those. And I came up with Worth the Hangover. Delicious breakfast burrito. There's sage sausage and there's a spicy maple aioli and, and tots and egg and caramelized onions. You're going to love it. My first name for it was... You should get me hungry already. Up, bitch. And people didn't think that might fly. Hold on, what? Or it was... Wake up, bitch. I <laughs> didn't think that might fly. People were concerned that that might not be as widely accepted because of the name. And one of the guys at Doghouse, Adam Gertler of Food Network fame, said in a text to me one day, Love it. We're going with Wake Up the Bitch. And I went, No, no. No, you got to stop. No, no. That's not the name. That really cannot be out there. Wake Up the Bitch now implies... I don't think I need to tell you guys what that right. implies. That doesn't imply anything positive. Right. So at the end of the day, we came up with Worth the Hangover. And if anybody knows anything, when you've had a hangover, you know that something... Yo, if this, if I go to any restaurant and it's a burrito called Wake Up Bitch, I'm definitely ordering it. Come on, man. Great name. Substantial... In your belly is a sure help. Am I right, boys? Yes. yes. Am I right, Derp? Right. Derp says I'm right. So, that's what we're making today. Caramelized onions is a huge, very important part of this. And caramelizing onions the right way, which really just means some time is what we need. So, we'll start there. Yellow onions. Uh, onions shrink. We might end up making a couple of these just for everybody to eat, so I'm going to cut both of these up like this. Cut in half first, take off this end, peel away the paper, or as we say in Canada, the paper. I suppose we could say the papier, but that would be silly. Papier. Okay, wow. All right, this is how we're going to play today, right? This is what you're going to do to me. Seedless oh watermelon. God. Why can't they do onions without Thank paper? you. Why can't they? Man. What a mess. It's a bit banged up on the top. That's going to be okay. Nobody will know. So I'm going to put one cut here. And they don't need to be diced. So I'll just put a couple cuts there. And then down here. And continue with the rest. Wait, did that shit so I'm easy? I'm going to do one and a half. And when everything's cut... About to have me go in the kitchen and get the experiment. Fuck around and slice my finger a few times, but hey, we're going to get it. And they go to your pan. First, a little avocado oil. And then, our onions. Beautiful. So the goal now is this. Just cooking them down. We're going from this white color to a beautiful medium brown. Soft, luxurious. Yo, imagine your life as a dumbass fly. And you say, oh, something smell good over there. I want to go land on this black thing. And you fry your ass up. <laughs> and perfect. And by the way, this is something you could easily do an hour before, two hours before. Even a day before. Just let it happen. Take your time. Come by every couple minutes. Give it a little stir. 
then walk away. Come back, stir, walk away. It's that simple. In the meantime, though, we're going to make our sauce. Our spicy maple aioli begins with, hello, Japanese mayo. Gorgeous, right? It's gorgeous. Spicy would imply some spice, and that's some sriracha. And maple implies maple syrup. Hello. Mmm. That should look pressure. This is a kit to age cocktails. And we mix. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you. If there's anything that makes spicy better, it's sweet. If there's anything that makes sweet better, it's spicy. I wonder, was this the special sauce Dale and them was talking about on Step Brothers? That they was, you remember how they was beefing over the special sauce? I wonder what the hell they had. And this is a freaking dream. Oh, okay. Might as well taste it. That is worth the hangover. Oh, damn. You're going to have to make this. Look, I know I say that. Say that about everything. That you're going to have to make. Okay, our onions are happening. Guy Fieri would say, our onions are working. They're actually not. <laughs> the onions are dead. They're in the pan. <laughs> Nothing's happening to them that they're doing. It's me. Damn, you dissing Guy Fieri. <laughs> I'm working the onions. And, and here's the, after about 10 minutes, here's the color. Look, gorgeous. Softening, uh, natural sugars coming out, sweetening, caramelizing. But we're, we're halfway. We need at least twice as much color than we've got right now. Almost don't have anything to do. Oh, sausage. Uh, it's, the sausage is kind of last minute. So, tell you what, take a break, go to the bathroom, check your email, do what you have to do. We're going to go away for about, oh, what, Max? Like a millisecond? Yes. So, if you can do all that stuff in that time, then do that and then come back and join us. But before we do, I definitely I have a, an email to read. <laughs> Look, we're all about uh, you guys learning. That's why we're here. We want you to watch and say that looks good. I also think I can make it. Then you try it and you make it. Your food life gets better. Right, boys? Right. Yeah. So we have an email from Anthony. And Anthony writes, big fan of the YouTube channel. Makes me want to try out a lot of the stuff you guys make. Problem is, I get anxiety over... Wait for it. Anthony gets anxiety over having to clean up after the fact. Can you do a video about how to quickly and efficiently get through the post-cooking process for the average home cook? Something that covers from plating the meal to having clean dishes and pans back in the cabinets and the countertops clean and ready to go. I take it my boy Sam ain't doing no dishes. Why would I? If I'm, if I'm the cook? Not me. Fuck. I don't even know what to say, Anthony. Just suck it up and clean the fucking dishes. That's the best <laughs> advice I can give. Look, if you're gonna chop wood, yo, I rock with Sam, dog. Ah, man, I rock with. I'm watching him over. Uh. Yep, I forgot this name. There's gonna be splinters that you have to deal with. If you're gonna be a surgeon and cut somebody open, you're gonna have to stitch them up after. It just comes with the job. And the thing that I say all the time, Anthony, and I'm trying not to make you feel bad. You've always got a minute. While I'm standing here waiting for onions to caramelize beautifully, I clean up my onion mess. I clean up my sauce mess. You gotta, you gotta clean. See, I ain't gonna lie. In the black household, moms was cooking and cleaning at the same damn time. And when you get a girl, that's one of the first things moms say. Oh, she ain't cooking and cleaning at the same time? She doing everything wrong. Do this stuff. Let the anxiety go. Your food world, your food life is going to be so much better because of what you're doing. The cleaning comes with it. Come on, man. Just suck it up, Anthony. I know the problem is you're still going by Anthony. If we started calling you Tony, now you've just gone up a few points in your man scale, right? Right? Hey, it's me, Tony. <laughs> Tony, you can do this, man. We got your back. It's going to have to happen. Can't eat without making a mess. Gotta clean up the mess, deal with it. It's uh, sausage time. It's sausage time. It's sausage time. It's sausage time. Onions done. Pulse. Pots are ready. I just out of the oven. Sauce is ready to be over the top. We just gotta build this. The next most important component is the sage breakfast sausage. 
the sage pork breakfast sausage. So I'm using the store-bought version, which of course you can get from anywhere. It's Jimmy Dean. He ain't sponsoring this rodeo, but it's the one I found that has got the sage in it, and that's important. You're supposed to turn that label around. You ain't sponsoring them, don't give them no show. They ain't so giving you no clout. This clubs. goes on here, and then we're happy. Like, really putting this thing together. So we give ourselves a little oil. We take our little ball of sausage, drop it on. We'll flatten them out. The sausage never want to do what it's and supposed to do. Don't worry that it's messy because we're going to mash the whole thing up. Crumbleize it. But let it just make chopped sausage. a little bit right there. Boy, I can smell the sage cooking. And by the way, that could have been way more elegant. And I apologize for it not being that way. It is not freaking elegant in the least. But you can see, it's starting to do its sausage thing, and that's what we want. By the way, over here, check out the onions. This is what I was talking about. That beautiful caramelization has brought out all the gorgeousness, the sweetness. That's what you want when you caramelize onions. This. Just like that. So to get onions like that, you only need a little bit of oil and just throw the onions in there, and they do that? How the hell do an onion just become sweet all of a sudden? Like, I gotta do more research. Learn it, make it, enjoy it. Okay, while this is happening, I actually think we can start our eggs. How do you feel about that? Yeah. So, we begin with some butter. And we'll make sure. Now, whatever this covers the big area we need, circle thing is that he got, I need this. We don't want this. anything to stick. And then we come in with our eggs, we crack. We go. We're trying not to break any yolks. No broken yolks here, folks. We're doing three eggs. It was a fire. Season that little salt and pepper. These are cooking. Sausage is almost done. I'm loving the stage so much. It's kind of unbelievable. We'll just loosen these kids as we go because we really don't want them to stick. And when the sausage is done, it can come off. We'll keep it warm. Right here. Clean this off. Best time to do is while it's hot. Doing fine here. Just loosening to make sure nobody sticks. Let's just slide Look everybody at the over movement a on bit. that. Ooh. Carefully. Clean off the middle. We put our tortilla on and we're there. In fact, let's give them a little lid. Let them do their thing. Now's tortilla time. Tortilla goes down. I always say the same thing. We're not cooking it, we're warming it so it's more pliable. Just enough. And when it is, off it comes, and we build. Big beautiful flour tortilla, and we begin with our caramelized... See, that'd be my whole thing. Every time I try to warm a tortilla or something, I end up burning the bitch. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm taking notes. I'm jotting it down. Mental pictures. Onions. Just a handsome little bed of them. Right there. On top of that, we put 10 tots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gorgeous. Spread out. Next, our sausage. The sausage will go like this. Oh, it's a little messy. It's okay. Everybody it's a okay breakfast here? burrito. What would you expect? Cheese on top. Beautiful. Remember our sauce? Well, here's our sauce in squeeze bottle form. Get back in there so we can do this. Mm. Spicy maple aioli. And now our eggs they look gorgeous like this that are going to sit right on top. <laughs> and we roll. This, 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 and bruh. In we come. And the goal, ladies and gentlemen, is straight deliciousness, so we should probably cut this, right, Max? Yeah. And that cross section about to look so crazy. And we open. That's everything it should be. It's gorgeous. And all that's left is to try, but I've heard of a Sam the Cooking Guy betting game. Which side will I pick up first, left or right? Well, I picked up both no of them. influenced me, so I will pick up. I'm on my players. I would have picked so up both of them hoes. Hurry up and get it. If not, oh, sorry. Oh, look at that bitch. Yolk, melty cheese, sage sausage, spicy maple aioli, tots, 
how could this not be good? Well, I created it, so I know how this bite's going to be. <clears throat> it's sweet, it's savory, it's a little spicy, it's insanely delicious. If you don't want to make it, that's fine. Badass breakfast burritos online. Order one. A buck from every one of these goes to No Kid Hungry. It's a great organization. Right, this is a great freaking burrito. Worth the hangover in every sense. See ya. Man, that bitch looks so fire. Yo, smash that like button. Subscribe over here if you're new. I think I'm about to go make one of these. Man, I'm out.